The Chi-Square Test, a powerful tool that helps public health professionals make sense of patterns in their data. In public health, we're always collecting information. Who gets sick? Who doesn't? Who smokes? Who doesn't? But spotting a pattern is just the first step. The real question is, how do you know if that pattern is meaningful or just a random fluke? Say you notice a pattern. How do you know it's real? Maybe more men than women in your survey smoke, or one neighborhood seems to get sick more often than another. Before jumping to conclusions, you need a way to test if what you're seeing is actually significant. Here's the simple test public health pros swear by. The chi-square test is a straightforward way to check if there's a real link between two groups or categories. It's used worldwide by researchers and data analysts to make sense of survey results and health trends. Imagine you're running a survey. You count how many people in each group do something, like smoke or don't smoke, or who got a vaccine and who didn't. You're sorting people into categories, and you want to know if those categories are connected. Then you ask, are these numbers just random, or is there actually a pattern? Is it just luck that more men smoke, or is there something about being male that's linked to smoking? The chi-square test helps you answer that with real evidence, not just a hunch. Let's walk through an example. Suppose you survey 200 people, out of 100 males, 60 smoke, so 60% of the men in your survey. Out of 100 females, only 30 smoke, just 30% of the women. The numbers look different, but is that difference just by chance? Or is gender really related to smoking? This is where the chi-square test comes in. It helps you figure out if the difference you see is big enough to be significant, or if it could have happened randomly. The chi-square test crunches the numbers. It compares what you actually observe to what you'd expect if there was no relationship at all between gender and smoking. Here's how it works. You figure out what you'd expect if gender and smoking were unrelated. Then, you look at what you actually observed. The chi-square formula takes the difference, squares it, and divides by what you expected. You do this for each group, then add up all those values. Add it all up, and you get your chi-square value. This number tells you how far your observed data is from what you'd expect by chance. The bigger the number, the less likely your results are just random. If it's bigger than a certain cutoff, boom, you've got a significant association. That means there's a real link between your categories, like gender and smoking. And it's not just a coincidence. But remember, the chi-square test is for categorical data, things you can sort into groups like yes-no answers, gender, or types of treatment. It doesn't work for numbers that can take on any value, like height or weight, and your expected counts in each group should be at least five. If you have really small groups, the test might not be reliable. Always check your data before running the test, not for numbers like height or weight. For those, you'll need a different statistical test, like a t-test or ANOVA.